Okay guys, this is actually a continuation of the last video because uh, my recorder only lets me record about like 10 minutes in each video exact. So this is just going to be like a continuation. Anyways, if you um, watched the last video, you would probably remember that we're actually above 2,000 to uh, 200,000 feet. And now we're actually descending. As you can see, the number's actually going down. So I'm in actually full war because it's actually going to take time and if you're actually in orbital flight since it takes even longer to like get to the moon you can actually like um warp to a hundred yeah so anyways oh yeah the parachute the signs so now it's like so you don't have to remember all the signs there are actually a bunch of signs that show if it's safe to deploy or not so if you want to see if it's safe to deploy, just hit a uh, right click on the icon and then like right above the deploy shoot, it would say if it's like risky or not safe, but now it's safe, but I wouldn't want to do it since it would just like slow down the time. It'll take, okay. Anyways, uh, this guy over here, he's actually the Kerbal. Um, which is the like main, which are the main characters? They inhabit this world, and if you want to see what he's seeing, just hit the view icon. He's not seeing that much, and then you can hit C to exit that. Okay, see now you can um, look at the heat effects, and even if you set your parachute to deploy at 2,000, you're gonna keep on to hit your um, space bar until it deploys, like I, uh, mine has right now. So mine has deployed, right? And then now it's about 2,000 feet, so it fully deploys. And now it's just gonna slow me down till I come back. Now, if you want to see what's it, what it looks like inside, you see this button off to the side over here. Just click it. It's uh, it's it's gonna show the interior overlay. So you can see the guy just looking straight up, and yeah, he's probably having a nice ride. So anyways, we're almost um, out of here. We're almost about to land. So this is basically how to con um, launch and well, build and launch a, a basic spacecraft. So after this thing lands, we're actually, right now, I'm gonna go to, over to the space station and then we're actually gonna see how to build a multi-step rocket. It's gonna take a little while longer. Oh, and right here, you can see uh, the time that they've been into space. So um, our Kerbal, he's been into space for 15 minutes and about 50 seconds. And he touched down. Um, as you probably noticed, this actually tells you the height about above sea level. So you actually might be closer that, to the ground than you actually think. So now we're gonna hit recover vessel. And then this is just basically an overview, overview of what happened. We didn't um, attach any science things, so we don't have any of that. The parts, we all, we just jettisoned all, jettisoned all of them. And the crew, he's alive. So. That's why you want to get them back because you got to recruit more and more and they're actually pretty expensive So now we're gonna go to the vehicle assembly building again Yeah, this is our old rocket So we can actually just expand on this like let's just see what the um they actually pre-made for us like for example um Here's one So this is actually a multi-stage rocket I think yeah, it's a multi-stage rocket. You can get it into space. So right now, oh wait, one sec. I forgot to tell you about this. See, see these on the side? These are actually for science. They're called a mystery goo containment unit. Science is down here. These are all the scientific experiments that you can um, add to your thing. They added the mystery goo containment unit, which is the basic one. And eventually, you can actually, you see, um, you can, like, for example, look, uh, where is it? 
Oh yeah, see, ion powered space space probe. You can actually go into space. Like there's there's the orb orbiter one a, eh? the orbiter one, the rover the sky crane. See, there's actually a bunch. Anyways, oh wait, I yeah I forgot to build up. Do a stage rocket. So we're gonna actually start with the MK1 command, then put a parachute on it. Oh, one sec. Okay. Then actually we're gonna put two radio mount ones. Yeah, we're gonna um, put two of them. So toggle sy symmetry and then put two of them. So they just basically so slow your thing down before the main parachute deploys. Now we're gonna go to coupling. Get a stack decoupler. Put it on the bottom. Go to fuel tanks. Get some fuel tanks. Four should be enough. Then we can go to the engines. So some of these engines, they actually work better at different altitudes. If you're pretty high, like the ter uh, the Terrier engine works, and then if you're low, the Swovo engine works. So I'm gonna put a Terrier here, and then we're actually gonna put another coupler, um, decoupler over here. It's actually gonna um, build like a case around it, so that's pretty good. Okay, so that's that's basically the first stage. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is go to structural um, right here and then get a tri coupler wherever that is oh yeah it's right here stack tri coupler and the next thing you're gonna want to do is actually where is it mm. oh oops I was looking the wrong time anyways so you can actually want to get some fuel again this should be good huge actually yeah no let's stick with that okay so now we're gonna go to engines and maybe since this is actually a heavy rocket no that's not gonna be good skipper maybe no okay I'm gonna take the oxidizer out of this, and it's actually gonna take uh, out the oxidizer out of the the ones that I placed at symmetry because this one only needs liquid fuel, the engines that I used, and that should be like a super basic two-stage rocket, except this is actually gonna crash probably, and I'll actually be surprised if it actually goes a little because um, the thrust is like all wrong. You're actually going to need a lot of thrust. So anyways, let's just try to do this. It's going to be fun to watch it. And now, if this crashes, you're actually going to be... You're going to see the explosions part of the rocket. The space program. Okay. So, that's what the... F <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dang. I forgot the stages are all wrong. So now I'm actually going to try to make this work. So instead of doing that, uh, let's go to fuel tanks again. Get a few more of these. That should be good. And get an engine. A swivel should be nice. Okay. So then we're going to want some aerodynamic wings. I'm going to put three of them because it just looks nice. Then I'm going to go to coupling again. Get a radio decoupler 